Hey y'all, Chef Irix Guy here. Please subscribe to me on youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And you can contact me directly by going to irixguy.com. I hope that you enjoy this awesome recipe and please share with others and check out my other recipes too. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Chef Irix Guy here. And in this video, I'm gonna explain how to boil okra. If you've never seen okra, this is what okra looks like. It's a very common uh, side item to have when you're down south. Now I got this okra out of my garden, so it's super fresh. What you're gonna wanna do, and I've already washed it off, but you're gonna wanna cut the ends off. Some people leave it on. I don't like having that on there. It's, it's not really a tender thing. So I'm gonna cut all the ends off of all these pieces, and I'm gonna throw them in my pot. So after you've cut the ends off of all the pieces of okra, you're then going to want to put some water in your pot. So I'm going to go get that right now. You don't want to fill it all the way to the top because it'll boil over, but you want to get it pretty close. I'll show you here when I bring this pot back over there. So you can see I've got the water there. I've probably got about an inch on that. Now what we're going to do is season this up. There's a lot of... Uh, this is where personal preference comes into play. But if you want to cook, if you want to boil your okra, the traditional southern way, what you're going to want to do is get you some butter or you can get some margarine. Just get you a generous amount of this and put down in there. So I'm going to get about that much. Big old chunk of butter there. I'll put that in. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do Pepper is very important, and not just pepper, but fresh ground pepper. So this is my gourmet blend of fresh ground pepper, and you can find a link within this video's description to where you can order this pepper online very affordably. It's not just black peppercorns, it's got, uh, it's got some other types of peppercorns in it, but you know, get, put you a lot of pepper in there because pepper is something that really gives the boiled, the boiled okra the uh, the flavor that you're looking for. And then something else you're going to want to do is put you a little bit of garlic salt in there. Or if you didn't want it salty, you could just do uh, uh, you could just do garlic powder. And that's basically it. Now, that's the most simplistic way to boil okra. You just got your garlic salt or just garlic powder and then fresh ground black pepper and butter or margarine. So if you want to kick it up a notch and just put a little bit of heat to it, what you can do is get you some hot sauce. And that's all a matter of the, uh, of, of the person's personal preference. But I like stuff a little spicy. So this right here, this red ghost, just a few drops of it will add, uh, add a little bit of spice to the, to the okra. Not gonna, not gonna make it crazy hot, but it'll, uh, it'll add a little extra spice. But like I said, the most traditional way to do it is just with the, uh, with the black pepper, the butter, the margarine, and the garlic salt, or just garlic powder. You don't have to do the hot sauce. But if you do the hot sauce, that gives it more of a Louisiana type uh, kick to it. it. Gives you that spice. So what we're gonna do now is just, uh, we're gonna boil the okra. Typically what I do, I bring it to a bowl and then I let it simmer for, for um, uh, sometimes I let it simmer for about a half hour or so on very low heat covered. And that just really helps the, uh, the flavors to blend. And then when you serve it, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that obviously you're gonna drain the water out of the, out of the pan because you don't wanna, <laughs> You don't want to serve it like that, and you're just going to scoop the, uh, the okra out. It'll be kind of slimy. That's something a lot of people don't like about boiled okra. But if you've never had boiled okra, this recipe will make not only yourself happy, but everybody else happy. I mean, it's, it's really, really good. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, youtube.com forward slash irixguy. 
and enjoy all of Chef Irix Guy's videos. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day.